welcome back to another video. I'm Amy, otherwise known as Broccoli Mum, and I have lost about 45 pounds following a high carb, low fat, plant-based diet with knowledge of calorie density, which has hit really helped me as well. That's just how I eat, and that's predominantly how my family eats. I do include more fats for my kids, healthy fats like avocados, nuts and seeds, that kind of stuff. I have basically nothing in the fridge. I have loads of dried things. I've maybe had some cabbage, but it's gonna be very cheap and quick and easy, hopefully, because I am a very busy person, obviously, as most people are. Well, hopefully I'll be making some yummy sauces, maybe some mayo. These meals are fantastic for weight loss or or just to regain your health you get to eat like humongous amazing portions when you eat this way focusing on loads of non-starchy veggies and loads of yummy starches as well i'll show you what i'm making i'll just show you what i've actually got in my fridge very bare at the moment so i've got like potatoes cannellini beans cabbage and some carrots in there i think i think i might do hash browns with some cabbage also going to chuck in a few carrots in there as well for good measure i have an emphasis on putting loads of non-starchy veggies into my meals they are extremely low calorie density so they really bulk out your meals for very little calories i don't calorie count in the slightest but i just have the knowledge of calorie density and that helps me make informed decisions about how to actually create my meal. So I like to do something called the 50-50 plate. So I have half of my plate as starches, so potatoes, rice, beans, and half as non-starchy veggies. Also thought I would throw in some of these lovely cannellini beans. I find that they keep me super full and super satisfied. I try and get beans in most days. And a great up, and be like, one, Two of these babies, put it in with the beans, add some nooch, add some salt, whack it in the air fryer for about 15 minutes and that will be beautiful. And while I'm doing that, I will cook up my cabbage. I'll get my carrots all sorted. I like these raw and crunchy. So I know in America, you can get these um, frozen packs of hash browns with no oil in. And I wish I lived in America, but I don't. I live in England and we do not get that here. But I love a hash brown, so I figured out the best way to do it. Pre-steam loads of potato. I do mine in the Instant Pot. And then I stick them in the fridge. These were made yesterday. And then when they're nice and cold, I grate them up, add loads of seasoning, and then you stick them in the air fryer. And that is the perfect hash brown. So if you've been wanting hash browns, but you can't find them anywhere, please give it a go. And if you didn't know, potatoes are an incredible food for weight loss. In fact, I'd say they're one of the best aside from non-starchy veggies. For satiety, for low calorie density, they're just so filling. I think scientifically they are the most satisfying food on the planet that just the simple white potato and the funny thing is obviously most people are scared of eating white potatoes and they're trying to lose weight and it's a shame because they don't realize it's one of the best foods ever it's really just the things that you put on a white potato like loads of cheese and butter and oil and so i'm just going to chop up these leftover skins i don't want to waste anything i've got my potatoes and my beans let me just go and grab my nooch excuse the baby babbling in the background my favorite seasonings are just loads of nooch so probably about a quarter cup maybe like a nice couple of pinches of salt <laughs> You can totally get fancier with this and put like garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. I'm just going to get my very, very dirty air fryer. Get all that in there. I don't shape it up. I kind of just stick it in. And it goes nice and crispy, so you don't need to spend loads of time doing that. And put that on for 15 minutes. So I've just got my frozen garlic and soy sauce, splash of water, and this is ready. We're just gonna stick this on and it should be ready in about five minutes. So I've got my yummy crispy, crispy hash browns. So that is loads of food in and of itself. And I think this amount of potato is maybe like three, 400 calories, really not that much. Of course, I've got my cabbage. This is gonna be really, really filling. Cabbage bulks out the meal completely without adding hardly any calories. And then, I've got some carrots and then what I've also just whipped up, some super yummy, I don't know, I don't want to call it mayo or cheese. It's kind of like a mayo cheese combination. Mm. It's super creamy, really yummy. So I put like nooch and salt and apple cider vinegar in. I, I would have had put lemon juice, but I didn't have any. That is going to be very yummy. There we go. My very filling, 
50-50 plate. Yeah, so I just wanted to mention that I always eat my non-starchy veggies first to really fill me up. After that, I will dig into my hash browns. And if I don't eat it all, that is absolutely fine. I really try and listen to my hunger fullness cues and listen to my body. So if I have had enough, that's fine. I'll pop it aside for a little bit later when I start to get hungry again. So I thought I'd also show you what my little girl Romy's having. I've just done her some hash browns with some nooch and some mashed up cannellini beans. I haven't actually cooked this. I've got a little pot of non-salt mayo for it as well. I just put the salt in at the very end and some leftover pancakes. <laughs> So it is lunchtime. Well, it's about three o'clock. Romy's been asleep on me for the last three hours while I was getting some work done. I have to be out the door in 15 minutes. So I've just quickly put together some lunch. I've got a cup of oats, about a quarter to a half cup of cannellini beans, frozen raspberries, frozen cherries, and some apple. And I'm just gonna top that. Some of my homemade date paste. That's how I like to make things sweet. And I was also gonna use some soy milk, just to splash. <laughs> So it's been a bit of a mad afternoon running around after the kids. I went, we went to forest school and then just did all the kid things, food, bath, bed, all those things. This little one is still awake. So I'm just quickly making some food. I've got some potatoes that I just chopped up and put in the air fryer to turn into chips. I've got some pre-steamed broccoli. I'm just gonna have some yummy persimmons and maybe some more of that cheese sauce that I made. So it's gonna be a very simple, easy dinner. Again, we don't have much food in, but it's gonna be delicious, so that's okay. <laughs> So we're just going to put these lovely chips into the air fryer. Oh yes, and I totally forgot to mention, I had a couple of little snacky things today. I had a handful of grapes and I also have had a few spoonfuls of couscous just while that was while that was on the go and I was pretty hungry and I haven't made dinner yet. Feel free to snack if you are actually hungry like I was today. Thanks so much for joining me for what I ate today. It was a day of delicious food, really quick food, really cheap food as well. Healthy food doesn't have to be really complicated or really difficult with loads of ingredients. It can be sim it can just be simple. But hopefully you've enjoyed the meals and you've enjoyed a little bit of the day. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and make sure to follow me over on Broccoli Mum. I will see you next time. Bye.